All right, so all these lights, these two strands that I have are 100 uh, bulbs each in two different strands. I just have them uh, daisy chain, pigtailed to each other. But at one point in time earlier today, none of these bulbs and strands worked except for half of a strand. Half of a strand of the first one. I'm going to just start with this one strand and talk about it. This is a 100 bulb strand. And, uh, you know, one bulb uh, is out, but the strand doesn't go actually out. It's when you have a bad, what they call shunt, is bad. That's when the half of the strand goes out. So, to recognize this to a certain type of strand, you have two strands in one in all actuality with this 100 count bulb strand for Christmas lights here. And somewhere in the middle, you'll see, you know, there's a three wires along pretty much the whole strand. And then in somewhere in the middle of the strand, there's only two wires. And these sockets have three wires going in them. That socket has three wires going in it. And all the rest to the left here have two wires going into each bulb. Same thing on this other half of the strand here. There's only two wires going to each bulb. So that means you have two in series strands. But they are wired in parallel for the fact that only half the strand will go out on each side of that two wire system. So you uh, pull out one of these bulbs, just pull out one of these bulbs, this whole half of the strand will go out, pull out this side, and the rest of this strand will go out. Now, in instead of just trying to replace bulbs, because I found in the past here, earlier in the day that just replacing bulbs that are known good bulbs sometimes doesn't do it you can go through the whole strand once twice and still not get what you're looking for which is all of them to light up so first off inside of a bulb let's take a look at a bulb here which you won't be able to see very good but inside of this bulb are two parts to it there's the filament, which is in between those two metal contacts there. Very thin, very hard to see, but it's there. That filament is what lights up. But if that bulb actually burns out, there's a fail safe called a shunt. And that is the two, three silver wrapped windings below there. You see that shiny part that's wrapped below those two contacts at the top that's the shunt no matter if the bulb goes out and it's not lit that shunt will still supply power through the two contacts at the bottom obviously this is a tedious task no matter what but from what I found uh, reading on the internet and whatnot they got the special tools and stuff and that sucks because Actually, the easiest thing to do is actually have a uh, voltage meter here. And this voltage meter, the only thing I really need from it, let me unravel the cord here. The only actual reading I need is the uh, ohms meter. I'm going to select ohms. And so take this meter and I obviously know that if I set it to volts if I set it to the volt section I'm gonna get 125 volts 120 volts out of these two but you're like whoa I get 125 volts and a pigtail still lights up at the end of this well that means that the one wire 
and at the end of each strand, I showed you in the middle of the strand that there's a socket with three wires. Well, at the end of the lights on each side, all the way there, where it plugs in the wall over there, there's another first bulb with three wires going into it. And that is because it wire these two strands, one to the half, and then the rest of the way, that's two actual strands of light wired in parallel. So, I'm going to simulate, after I plug in one of my contacts, nobody to hold my phone for me, so kind of stuck, but I'm going to put it in one side here, and that's the wire that always runs the length to each light, each light in series. And you'll know that because, let me try and hold the phone. Can I get a phone holder here for a second? Anybody? What? Can, it, can you hold the phone for me for a minute? No, not live. Just Are you editing? Probably not. Where am I? Where am I? Get closer so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so. Am I supposed to be doing? No, no. Keep it. Keep it upright. Okay. Keep it upright.